Quest Helicopters is a subsidiary of um, Quest Investments and the investment arm of the Quest Group uh, is key in researching new technology. We came across a, a product that was developing, defining and refining new technology into helicopters. We liked what we saw and we decided then to invest in the product. But the Quest Group and my chairman Mahmoud Al-Ansari, um, they are very, very keen to bring this product into the UAE. We have um, fly-by-wire, unique in helicopters. We have an ejectable cabin safety system where the capsule cabin actually ejects in case of any catastrophic failure. Okay, it's a booster system. It's very much on the basis of a, 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 an ejectable seat with a, in a fighter jet, except the cabin actually ejects forward with four booster systems. Uh, it's uh, 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 started by the, the pilot if, in case of any uh, failure. And uh, what we have in this, uh, this particular product is the aircraft will go out, it'll be, the capsule will uh, be jettisoned forward, there'll be a um, uh, gyro stabilization, so it'll be upright. The passengers and crew will be inside the aircraft, a parachute will deploy, and the rotor system slots into the top of the cabin, this will eject and go backwards. And uh, the uh, fuselage of that rotor system, of the, 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 end, the back fuselage, will actually um, have a parachute as well. So we can define any problems that uh, 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 incurred in the actual uh, incident. This particular cabin section here, this is all separated. This will separate the top of the rear slots into the top of the capsule cabin. There will be an ejector system initiated by the pilot who will actually be able to pull something like almost like you have a uh, an ejection seat in an aircraft and what will happen then the uh, boosters which are up here which you can't see but they're up here boosters will fire uh, bolts will unlock at the back very very solid bolts will unlock behind uh, behind the uh, rear cabin and the front capsule with its crew and passengers will be ejected forward and the rear section will go up and away and uh, this front section will be gyro stabilized so uh, once it's got clear of the blades, blade system the aircraft will uh, um, have a parachute system which will open up and come down to the ground gently. The copter you see behind is a test bed. This isn't going to be the end of the, the line. We will be developing the technology and from that technology we will then define the next products that we are going to actually manufacture. We have a tandem inline rotor system here as you can see and uh, this is a ripe for development. We can make this a, a 4 seat, a 10 seat, a 15 seat because it has tandem uh, rotor blades. Therefore we don't have a, a major CFG problem. It's about just changing engines, transmissions in line with uh, the weight that we decide to uh, build. But it's about safety. That's what we're doing. We're, we're developing the technology, not the airframe, it's the technology for future development of helicopters. We uh, expect to spend up to $50 million in the uh, development of the uh, technology, uh, prototype flying, and then bringing it to certification and obviously production. And we feel it's going to be up to five years program as it stands now. My group are very keen to bring this technology into the UAE and uh, um, transfer of technology into the UAE. There are very, very uh, smart young Emiratis coming in and we will be able to offer job opportunities in due course in the aerospace uh, industry in our production plant, which we're going to be uh, um, uh, building in Um Al Quain, which is uh, one of the Northern Emirates uh, just north of Dubai. Future uh, aircraft are going to be uh, multi-role. E VIP, EMS, police, offshore, utility, many, many um, uh, variations of the same theme. And we envisage that the, the slightly larger version, maybe up to 10 seats, will be uh, quite an interesting aircraft. Uh, the price is coming out at 2,950,000 US dollars, which will be holding uh, for the first 20 units uh, to stimulate the market. However, this what you see behind me now, this particular aircraft, this particular helicopter, uh, will change substantially. It may not be what you see when we start producing. You'll see a much more refined aircraft, a much more refined uh, systems uh, with the ejectable cabin. 
and our view is if it saves one life, this ejector wall cabin, it's worth the millions that uh, my chairman and his group are spending to make it work.